Hello everybody and welcome to our revision skills session. Uh, the purpose of this session is to share with you some of the strategies and techniques that you can use at home to support your child with their revision. We also want to focus on the fact that as a school we believe that revision is a skill that should be developed over time and not something that students should just do the day before or the week before exams. In this presentation, we are going to share with you the same strategies that we have shared with the children during assembly this week. So the first thing that we need to be mindful of is the amount of information that the brain has to deal with on a daily basis. And that's not just information from lessons and, and knowledge from school, but also the brain is exposed to social media, phones, music, television, friends, family. So there's a huge amount of information that our brain has to deal with and try to remember. And the biggest barrier for the brain to do that is the fact that the brain is an organ that is designed to forget. And you can see this theory on the screen um, represented by the forgetting curve. So here on the red line, you can see that once your child has been taught something here, after six days, they will remember hardly anything. So over six days, if your child doesn't engage with that information again, they will forget everything. That's why retrieval is so important. And each one of these green lines shows you that each time your child retrieves information that they have previously learned, they remember it a bit more and a bit more and then nearly everything. That's why in school, every lesson starts with what we call do now retrieval. And the, this can be summarized uh, by a simple phrase. The more you retrieve information, the more likely you are to remember it. And that's why revision should be retrieval. But revision and retrieval are not the only things that you need to consider when you are trying to support your child with revision and preparation for exams. There are four other elements that we're going to talk you through this presentation. Um, one of them is the distractions that your children will be having around them, social media, phones. They're all things that we didn't have when we were at school and now they, they play a big role um, when your child is trying to concentrate on revise. We think it's really important that your child keeps a positive mindset and a healthy mind and they look after themselves during the revision period. And equally important is the location, the place at home or in school where they're going to be doing that revision. So I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Filippo now, who is going to talk you through these four different aspects to consider when you're supporting your child through their revision. So the first thing that I would like to look at is a change of mindset. Quite often, um, after a very long day, you may have your child thinking that they don't really want to revise and then you get the I can't be bothered or I'll do it tomorrow. Try and encourage them just to focus on 30 minutes, 30 minutes of revision and then have a treat because something is always going to be better than nothing. Sometimes they might have a topic in front of them and say, right, it's too difficult, I'm not doing it. If that does happen, again, try and get them to change that mindset and say, well, it can't be that difficult, let's try and break it down. Um, by breaking it down into maybe a subtopic, it makes things a little bit easier again. And if you're confronted with, I don't know anything about this topic, then get them to think what they do know start with something we have knowledge organizers on our website if they're really struggling ask them to take a look at them write notes about the topics or the subtopics on their knowledge organizer that's a fantastic starting point for their revision location is everything now as you can see from our picture here we have a bedroom quite cluttered this is not a great learning environment at all. Um, if your child turns around and says, well, I'm going to tidy up my bedroom because I need my bedroom to be clutter free before I arise, just encourage them to use a different room. It'll probably be a lot easier in the long run. Um, the room that should be 
light with lots of fresh air coming through it and most importantly clutter free here in school they have access to the school library between three and four in our homework club at home maybe they could use a different room in the house a different room for their bedroom or maybe they could try somewhere different there are many local libraries that they could go to to revise or maybe they could go to a trusted relative's house to revise. Whilst they're revising, discourage them from having their phone with them. Maybe they could silent their phone. Ask siblings to keep out. Make sure it is a quiet area for them, for them to, soak, to focus. You need to make sure the teenage distractions are limited. Here are some facts that we picked up about a healthy mind. Very important. According to a medical sleep study, a teenager needs nine hours of sleep. They are still growing, not quite adults yet. Sleep is extremely important. And we know that some of our teenagers, they have actually said to us that they haven't had much sleep. This isn't, this isn't great for a learning mind. A teenager needs to drink approximately eight to 10 glasses of water eat five portions of fruit and veg a day. They should exercise. Now, as I said earlier, um, revision and retrieval are part and parcel of the same thing. You need to revise and then you need to retrieve. Both are very, very important. We want to eliminate passive revision. Passive revision is just looking at your notes, copying your notes whilst you're still looking at them. Nothing will go in highlighting only nothing again will go in we need to get more active with our revision i highly recommend that if your child starts a brand new topic get them a blank piece of a4 paper and write down everything they know about the topic then get their books out or their knowledge organizers and write around in a different color pen what they don't know these would be the red topics areas that they're really struggling with and therefore need longer to revise for Active revision includes flashcards, mind maps, condensing your notes from one A4 piece of paper maybe to an A5, then to a flashcard. Post-it notes, again, not just copying out information on a post-it note, but reading the information and trying to remember them onto different post-it notes. Making a lesson, lesson plan. And writing out class notes, again, in their own words, not just copying. Retrieval, as Ms. Penny said earlier, we take part in many retrieval tasks in school at the start of every single lesson. But retrieval can also be in past papers, having your child write an essay plan. And there are many more revision platforms out there now, such as Seneca, Hegarty Maths, GCSE and Key Stage 3 Bite Size. How you can help is by being a pupil. Ask your child to explain what they have learned. Also revise with your child. If there's something that you don't know, ask them if you can learn it too. Maybe challenge yourself and your child by completing retrieval tests together so you can get the most marks. Um, also test your child. If they come with you with a load of flashcards and say test me, that is a perfect way to retrieve with your child information that they have learnt. Now, this, this focuses on the different types of children that you may come across. You might have your child who is so very focused. They've been at school all day. All they want to do is revise when they get home. Then um, you'll have your focused child, which will revise a bit and also have time for themselves. Um, and then you'll have your child who may not be focused and doesn't want to revise at all. Now, your very focused child will have a revision timetable all set out. Um, whereas your child, which lacks focus maybe, won't have a revision timetable at all. We don't want your children burning out. So if you have a child who seems to be working all hours, please encourage them to do some maybe physical activities, go for a walk, some musical activities if they play a musical instrument or are in a band. It is very, very important that they do have time to themselves because if they don't, they will burn out and we do not want that happening. So the revision is very important 
but so is their minds. They do need a little bit of time out to absorb all that information. However, there are some children out there who do lack focus, who haven't got a revision timetable. The best way to approach this could be by encouraging your child to revise for 30 minutes, then build it up slowly. So obviously you'll need some time to do this. Encourage 30 minutes one night, build it up to 40, build it up to 50, and so on. And as always, whatever your child does, encourage the treats after revision. This could be a chocolate, this could be a day out, this could be a favourite film. But keep those treats coming. Treats are always fantastic and keep your child well motivated to succeed, hopefully, as well as their education. Now, how can you support your child from today? Print out the exam timetable and have it somewhere visible, like on a notice board or on a fridge. Print out the topics and have it again somewhere visible. Use the knowledge organisers and use revision tutorials that are on our website. This is a screenshot of our, of our website. If you go on it and you click on student, which you can see here highlighted, on yellow that's where you can find all the different um, knowledge organizers for each subject for each half term alongside these video tutorials which are only 30 seconds each and will show you how to use the flashcards how to do the mind maps how to use the self quizzing so that revision is active rather than passive we would like to thank you again for your time um, and if you have any questions, you can send us an email to either of us and we will get back in touch with you uh, to answer your questions. We hope you found this useful and now you feel better prepared to support your child with their revision. Thank you very much.